Denver, it's just a fun city. From the art scene, to the food scene, to the sports scene, I feel like Denver has something for everybody. And then we're set right at the base of the mountains. We always joke around, we call it a city with benefits. You can start early in the morning, go up and hike a 14er, come down, visit your brew pub. You can't come and visit Denver without someone taking you on a brewery tour. I go to yoga and three-fourths of the water bottles have brewery stickers on them. It's just a perfect combination of people, nature, but also with that city feel. I think Denver is extremely innovative in many ways, from the arts to pop. <laughs> the culinary scene in Denver has just really coming into its own, I think, over the last few years. So people's tastes here are absolutely adventurous, and we fit that bill really well. We tend to use some pretty interesting proteins when we make hot dogs here. You'll find elk and reindeer and wild boar and pheasant. Some of the stuff that those guys pull together is incredible. Uh, I have a rattlesnake dog I haven't tried yet. Big, big seller. People love to come here and eat rattlesnakes, especially kids. The structure, uh, it's uh, 28 feet tall, and it's a replica of an old dairy can, an old milk can. We make all of our waffle cones inside and you can smell it lofting out. Their ice cream's great, all locally made. They do a lot of fun flavors. We had to cut ourselves off because we were eating way too much. Even when it snows, I mean, it's Denver. People love it and they'll come out. We do all North American cuisine, so we can play from different cultures like North America is. And it's almost like cheating because we have a wood-fired grill and a wood-fired oven. So anything you put in those, it helps it out tremendously. It's like basically summer barbecuing indoors every single day. Amazing food. Love the space, love the concept of all shared plates. And that whole space is sort of innovating that area in Rhino. There's two different restaurants, a brewery, a butcher, a baker, a little art store as well. So there's all kinds of things inside the Source Project here. We started off with uh, local artists screen printed t-shirts and goods. The focus now is to have modern, fun clothing for the individual who wants that conversation piece. The front of the space deals all with clothing, then the back of the space is our design and sales area for all the screen printing. So you can come in, see the products, and then they can also help you get the ultimate design that you want on the printed good you're looking for. There's a little shoe store in the basement of Indy. It's really a unique place, like people really search it out. The Mayan Theater here in Denver is one of, I believe, three um, Mayan Art Deco architecture theaters left here in the entire country. So many of the guests coming in just kind of look up in awe at all the very fine-tuned designs. It's pretty cool and helps us really stand out within Denver, if not, yeah, the entire theater industry. It's a beautiful piece of architecture, and the Landmark Theater Group always brings in some really good indie films. Museo de las Americas, it plays a big role in the West Side community because it was the first art institution that was established to serve the Latino community in Colorado. So Museo is like a the soul kitchen of the West Side. You come here and you see the Americas, and they're all beauty and its splendor and with this amazing way of looking at the world. It's been so exciting over the last few years to see how the microbrew scene has grown across the country, but definitely in Denver. This is one of Denver's first breweries. We were founded in 1994. Great Divide has some of the best beers in Denver. They were some of the forerunners of the industry. They're still brewing some great beer. Stopping by Great Divide is a fantastic starting point. And then, you know, head down the street and, and see what else is new around town. What makes this place a heavy metal bar, obviously, would be the music that we play. That's the most obvious thing. All I can say is the nicest metalhead you'll ever meet. The beer is great, the atmosphere is awesome. It's not necessarily just metalheads that are coming in to hang out. I've had octogenarians in here it's because they've heard that we brew some great beer. It's really awesome and it warms my heart. 
what heart I have that so many people can appreciate what we're doing here, whether it be the environment or the beer or the music or what have you. There's something for anybody in here, which is pretty cool. The Skylark Lounge is a music venue. We have bands several nights a week. And then we have the upstairs room, which is called the Paradise Pool Room for people that want to shoot pool. Denver is definitely one of the strongest music scenes in the country going right now. It's got a really, really powerful music scene. Denver is special because we're just bustling at the scene. It's a club and music and a restaurant city. It's still a beautiful place. It's not overdeveloped, at least not yet. And I can't imagine there's anything missing for almost everybody but the ocean.